Hey guys, I'm Brittany Hughes. You're watching MRC TV, and this is your reality check. An IT tech for former DNC chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz was arrested on Monday night at Dulles International Airport trying to flee the country after being charged with bank fraud. It also turns out that he and his company may have uploaded a bunch of government data to the cloud and exposed it for everybody to see. Oh, and they also owe a crap ton of money to a fugitive who fled the U.S. in 2014, is wanted for insurance fraud, and is connected to Hezbollah. Reports show that Imran Awan and his family have raked in about $4 million from congressional Democrats for IT services since 2005. They had access to the email accounts of dozens of congressional Democrats, including Jackie Spire, who's on the Intelligence Committee, and Diana DeGette, who chairs an investigative subcommittee. The family company is now accused of double billing the government for their services and are being investigated for potentially exposing sensitive house information, which isn't hard to believe considering police raided Awan's house and seized a whole mess of smashed hard drives. He and his family were banned from working on house networks months ago, but Awan was still on Debbie Wasserman Schultz's payroll up until Monday night. Now raise your hand if any of this surprises you and slap yourself with it. After all, it is not like the former head of the DNC is known for her ethics. And this isn't the first time we've seen someone take a sledgehammer to a computer to try to hide something. But you might think that dozens of congressional Democrats employing a potentially Hezbollah-connected computer guy for more than a decade might make it onto a few evening news shows. It didn't. Not one, actually, unless you count Fox. Donald Trump's second cousin could go to Starbucks and bump into someone who once visited Russia as a child, and the media would harp on it for a week. But Democrats hire a shady IT guy who steals money, defrauds the government, leaks congressional communications, smashes evidence, owes money to a wanted fugitive connected to a terrorist network, and tries to flee the country with 12 grand in a suitcase, and NBC instead reports on a Harvard Business School study that shows that money can, in fact, buy happiness. If only it could buy a halfway decent media outlet that actually does its freaking job. And that's your reality check, America. Subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.